Hello Year 10, um, this is a video to go through percentages um, and increasing and decreasing by a percentage which is the focus of your maths this week. So I'm going to start by thinking where you see um, percentage increases and decreases in daily life. Um, it's such a common thing and in a lot of ways a really essential life skill to be able to work out percentages and when you're shopping and so on to work out what the best deal is. Um, so have a think about where you would have seen percentages um, and percentage increase and decrease in, in particular. So I think if you find if you have a rummage in your cupboards, in your food cupboards particularly, um, you will find that you probably have a few products with a percentage extra free or perhaps a percentage cost, reduced percentage cost. Um, and um, it's really good to be able to work out whether or not you are getting a good deal. So we're going to look at two methods to calculate percentage increase and decrease. Okay, so we're going to start with these M&Ms. Okay, and it tells us that there's percentage extra free. Okay, so 25% extra free. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to work out um, how many grams are in the packet now after the increase. So the original packet has 150 grams, okay? And we want to add on 25% to that. So the first method I'm going to show you uses turning a percentage into a decimal. So here I've changed 25% into a decimal, 0 0.25. And to turn a percentage into a decimal, you quite simply divide by 100, okay? So 25% divided by 100, 0 0.25. You then multiply the original amount by the decimal, which gives us 37.5 grams. So that is a really quick and easy way to find 25%, especially if you've got a calculator. Okay, uh, and then because we want to increase that onto the original, we're going to add it to 150 grams. And the new packet with the increase now has 187.5 grams. So we turned the percentage increase into a decimal, found 25% by multiplying by 0 0.25, and then added it onto the original. Okay, so the second method you might be more familiar with, and this uses uh, building blocks of 10%, sort of 5%, and so on. And most of you will know that to find 10%, you can divide by 10. 10% is special. It's the only percentage where you can divide by the percentage itself to work it out. So you can't find 20% by dividing by 20. You can't find 50% by dividing by 50. But 10% you can find by dividing by 10. Okay, And most of you will be familiar with using 10% to then find 5%. So 5% is half of 10%. Um, and then we can add the two 10% to the 5% to work out 25%. Okay, so 10%, 150 divided by 10 gives us 15 grams. We want then 5%, which is half of 10%, so half of 15 grams is 7.5 grams. So we've now worked out 10%, 15 grams, set 5%, 7.5 grams, and 25 is 10 plus 10 plus 5. So 15 grams plus 15 grams plus 7.5 grams gives us our 37.5 grams. And we then add that on to 150 to get 187.5 grams. Okay, so let's look at this one. So on this one, we have 33% um, extra free on a box of ice lollies. The original packet had three ice creams. Okay, so we're going to increase three ice creams by 33%. Turn the 33% into a decimal and multiply. 3 times 0 0.33 gives us 0 0.99. So 33% of 3 is 0 0.99. We're then going to add that on. So we're doing our percentage increase and we get 3.99. Okay, don't normally see 0.99 of an ice lolly. So it's been rounded up to one. So there's four ice creams in the box. So that's using our method of turning the percentage into a decimal and multiplying. Second method, we can find 1% by 
by dividing by 100. So you can always find 1% by dividing the total by 100. Okay? So 3 divided by 100 is 0 0.03. So 1% is 0 0.03. We're going to want 33 lots of 1% to get 33%. So we do 1% times by 33, so 0 0.03 multiplied by 33 gives us 0 0.99. And again, we're going to round that up to 1, which gives us an extra 1 ice lolly, 4 ice lollies in the box. Okay, last example then. In this one, it's quite hard to see because the writing is quite small. But if you buy 3 chocolate bars, you get 25% off the cost. Okay. So if we work out the original price of the three chocolate bars, that gives us £3.60. So three lots of £1.20, £3.60. And we want to take 25% off that. So using our method 1, 25% is 0 0.25. Multiply by 0 0.25 gives us 90 pence. So there's going to be 90 pence taken off the cost, which leaves us with £2.70. Okay? Second method, if we want to find 25%, we already know that 3 bars is £3.60. 25% of £3.60, of three, of three, three sorry, there should be a decimal point between the 3 and the 6 there, apologies for that. 10% plus 10% plus 5%, 10% we can find by dividing by 10. 5% is half of that, so 0 0.18. So 10% is 0 0.36. 5% 0 0.18 and we add those up it gives us 90p and then of course we need to remember to take that away from the original £3.60 to work out the new cost which is £2.70 okay so there's two methods that I've gone through in order to calculate percentages and then to calculate inclusion weekly okay so just to go through those and recap method one Turn the percentage into a decimal and multiply. Okay, so to find 10%, you would multiply by 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. You obviously don't need this second zero, but it's kind of helpful because you can just see you've just moved the decimal point two places. You've divided by 100 to go from 10% to 0 0.10. So the decimal point would have been at the end of the number if we wrote it. So we move it two places to the left. We divide it by 10. Okay, 20% multiply by 0 0.2. 1%, this is one people often make a mistake on. 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.01. 7% multiply by 0 0.07. 29% 0 0.29. 81% times by 0 0.81 and so on. Okay. Um, slightly trickier one, if you wanted to find 0.5%, again, you're going to divide by 100, which gives you 0.005 as your multiplier. And sometimes we have um, percentages which are greater than, um, if you want to find percentage greater than 100, as usual, divide by 100, and that will give you 1.15. Okay? So, remembering percentage into a decimal just divide by 100 and you can just work out any percentage by turning it into a decimal and then multiplying. Method 2, which you will all have seen before, using building blocks of 10% and 1%. You can also use 50% as a building block. Finding 50%, we divide by 2. Most of you will know 50% is a half. Okay, but commonly we would use building blocks of 10% and 1%. So, as I said earlier, 10% is special. It's the only percentage where you divide by the number itself. Okay, um, if you can remember that, that's a really useful thing to use in lots of areas of maths. Um, so, to find 10%, you simply divide by 10. To find 1%, you divide by 100. Okay, to find 50%, you divide by 2. 5% is always half of 10%, because 5 is half of 10. And a couple of examples here, 20%, you've got two lots of 10%, 35% would be three lots of 10% plus a 5%, 4% would be four lots of 1%. So you can use these build building blocks of 10%, 1%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5
and 50% in order to work out larger percentages. So it's completely up to you which method you choose to use. The method on the left is far quicker, but not always helpful if you don't have a calculator or it's a non-calculator question. Okay, so if it's possible to learn how to do both, I think that's quite important. And lastly, remember that if you're calculating percentage increase or decrease, you need to add it on at the end or take it away if it's decreased. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, this will be helpful when you go on to do the maths watch task. And yep, thanks very much for watching as usual. Get in touch with me or math teacher if you need some further help.